before we get on the subject let me just take you through a few the teaser points which will just keep us glued to the basic objective of this webinar you know when we talk about poultry and dairy business landscape there is one common connecting point and that connecting point is the availability of protein to meet the nutritional requirement of people on this planet and you know what is most important point to note that by say 2050 we will have a sizable number of people 10 billion to be precise around 10 billion people to feed in this planet and we'll be needing 70% more protein by that time and a sizable percentage of that protein is going to be coming from animal sources which will comprise of milk meat or egg or things like or fish and all things like that but in the indian context when we look at it we can see that we are primarily starch feeder what is very contextual to note that in india we are having rich diet on a starch not on protein as you can see in this slide also whereas in it when it comes to the matter of grain or starch we can see that we are more or less both rural and urban area we are consuming fairly in good quantity but when it comes to the protein that's where we are as as you can see here that when it comes to the indian diet we are having more of um, starch consumption when, when when it comes to the protein we are having the deficiency another data point also just corroborates the same point that when it comes to the starch consumption or carbohydrate consumption we as indian are consuming far more quantity of carbohydrate than protein now we all are aware about you know balance sheet in one or other way we know the balance sheet is a kind of document which puts the matter in matter to the fact way right um, and if for a minute just imagine that how the protein balance sheet of the country is going to be looking like so if we are having 1.38 billion people at present and if we take the average requirement of protein per person as 0.8 to 1 gram per kg body weight basis we will be needing or we are needing actually 25 million metric ton of protein in a year for feeding our people now when we look at the supply part where from the protein is going to be coming the common perception is from plant source and from animal source but if it is the entire farm produce and many of you would be aware that we are one of the largest producer of farm produce like wheat rice and pulses also but even if we take entire produce and we convert the protein portion coming out of it it is giving us roughly around 15 million metric ton so let's add it up what's coming from animal source and what is interesting to see is that from animal source if we take entire produce milk egg fish and chicken it is contributing almost equal quantity this is the status as of now and as i was saying that you know going forward we'll be needing 70% more protein 70% more protein going to be required and that requirement is going to be coming in a challenged scenario that challenge is going to be that one data point says that by 2030 the water supply will fall 40% short of meeting the global requirement there will be rising energy cost there will be rising labor cost there will be rising nutrient cost so what is the message is that we will be we will be required to get more from less efficiency will play an extremely important role going forward and that's where i want to bring the concept of technology and digitalization because and that's the theme of today's webinar because digitalization and technology actually can add a lot in terms of filling up that gap and if you look at the credential of us credential of country we already have shown that how we can bring the optimization or efficiency in various sectors just to give you one data point i don't want to let you see other points just look at this part last 5 years our indian it services company has contributed global companies a saving of 500 billion dollars so it means that the technology has got everything in it to bring the efficiency now that's about the capability part 
Now, when you look at the infrastructure part, I'm sure the panelists are going to be talking about it in detail, but just to give you a few snippets of that, infrastructure-wise, we, we have really advanced a lot. One of the largest number of internet users, second largest to be precise, one of the largest traffic of data which is happening on per household basis is in India. The broadband is speed, quite decent. Traffic through video, viewing, viewing, excellent. Workforce, younger workforce, everything, you know, you look at trend, you look at the impact, we are seeing a lot of positivity is happening on this direction. So now the question comes that how we are going to be ultimately making use of all that. Actually, we are seeing the inroads of digitalization and technology in dairy and poultry landscape also in last couple of years. It will be a little unfair to say that we are totally naive on this part. You know, we are already making use of it, but it's more it was more limited to a few early adopters, you know. So, but the COVID-19 actually has brought the version two out of us. And, and we are we have adopted in one year what perhaps would have taken five or ten years for us to adopt. That's what is going to be the key point of deliberation. And uh, it was my absolute uh, privilege.